There are about 11 families who live along this road just south of Lake Thunderbird. You can see that flooding that came down really did a number on the road here, just creating these huge ruts. It eroded not only the gravel, but the dirt and the asphalt as well. But the main problem facing these families is this is a private road. That means they are responsible for fixing it, not the city, county, or state. Many families living in here are on fixed incomes, simply can't afford to bring in truckloads of gravel. They checked with FEMA, and this is not covered under the current disaster declaration. They're hoping they will qualify for some other assistance program to help them patch up the road. The crevices are so deep that you, know, you would literally have to drive on people's grass. So you're not on the road. Um, you know, you're tearing up people's grass to get through a road that you can't get through. Just look how deep these ruts are. They've had a bobcat here, one of the neighbors, kind of coming through and trying to grate this thing. But as you can tell, there's not much road left to grate. Now, they're just going to have to wait to see if this last round of flooding gets a disaster declaration. Then maybe they can get some help from FEMA. In Noble, Mark Opgrand, KOCO 5 News.